The ghost and Molly McGee. A comet? You know what? I don't see what the big deal is. Comets just fly around in space. I mean, I can do that. Um, are you a cosmic ice ball leaving behind a trail of debris so majestic grown men cry? I made a man cry once. I hid his keys for a week, but I kept moving them, so he thought he was losing his mind. Well, I think it's a big deal. This might be our only opportunity to see the comet. Well, what do you mean? Well, who knows what our lives will be like in 50 years? Or where we'll even be. Everything could change. Who knows what'll happen? So we gotta make the most of this moment with an astronomical all-nighter! An epic BFF sleepover where we will have celestial-themed activities, astral-shaped snacks, Snacks! Perfect! I slept through breakfast and lunch. We'll stay awake until exactly 4.07 a.m. when the blazing snowball streaks across the sky and into our hearts. Well, I was going to spend the night curled up with my favorite series of fantasy books, A Song of Snow and Humidity, but... Oh, please, Salmon, please, Salmon, please, Salmon. Um, I used to get kind of uh, weird when I stayed up too late, but uh, that was Kid Libby. Teen Libby, she's a bedtime rebel. I'm in. They're making a perfect memory. <sighs> They're hanging up comet decor. They're whipping up trays of themed canopies. Yeah, about that. We're gonna need more. We'll do it for later. They're making a perfect memory. Inflating the moons till it hurts. They've even got a big comic and yada. And souvenir t shirts. Perfect. Nope, bad scratch. Libby isn't even here yet. And where are Mom and Dad? Oh, they already hit the sack. I mean, those guys haven't stayed up past 9 p.m. since daylight savings time. What? How could anyone sleep knowing the blazing snowball will be here in precisely T minus 7 hours, 38 minutes, and 12 seconds? Hey, there's a nice way to do that. Molly! Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> My inner rebel really wanted to wear a leather jacket, but I don't have one, so I had to settle for this. It's pleather. Ooh, speaking of belts, why don't you take a peek at Orion's belt? Um, Molly, I can't see any constellations. What? Oh, my corn, there's too much light pollution! Mom! Dad! Emergency! <gasps> what? What is it? I need a ride to the country. Any volunteers? <laughs> You and me for all time. Uh, I'm 